top 10 ways to overcome social anxiety. Many people occasionally feel anxious to face some situations. It is pretty common to be nervous before delivering your speech or presentation in your office. Everyone can relate to the situation when you have shivering legs on your first job interview, but it is entirely different from social phobia, where the person suffers from intense distress and anxiety in a social situation. Unfortunately, this is misinterpreted as shyness mostly. A person suffering from social anxiety disorder will panic by merely thinking about an unfamiliar situation. Ultimately, due to their fear of being judged by others, they will avoid facing any social interaction. If you are trapped in a similar situation, then you don't need to worry about it anymore. Watch this video till the end and you will know how to cope with your anxiety. Explore the scenario. Start by exploring the situation that triggers your phobia. Grab a pen and note the upcoming event you have to attend but you are anxious about. For example, you have to meet your professor next week to ask for his guidance. Another thing that might distress you is that you want to ask someone out but you don't have the confidence to face them. Just enlist the feelings and symptoms that you often experience during the scenario. You can write it down that you have a pounding heart and are constantly worrying about saying anything irrelevant things or being rude. That is how you can sort out your problematic areas. Possible solution in your specific scenario. Now, after diagnosing the underlying symptoms, you are one step closer to your goal. You know that for every problem that we face, there is a solution. As you have identified your symptoms, the next step is to write the probable solution in front of them. You might experience sweaty palms and increased heartbeat when you ask your boyfriend or a girlfriend out. So try to focus on your breathing pattern when you greet them. Alternatively, a few deep breaths can relieve you in a few seconds only. Analyze negative thoughts and challenge them. Social phobia is associated with negative thoughts widely. These negative emotions revolve around the fact that you will be mocked and judged in the gathering. Most people who suffer from social anxiety disorder have a negative assumption about themselves. For example, one such negative presumption is if you can't deliver a presentation as expected, then everyone will consider you dumb. The simple solution to this is realistic thinking. If you said something embarrassing in your office long ago, then you need to reassure yourself that no one remembers it anymore. Do you recall someone who made an awkward joke in your office? Next, what they do is laugh it off and no one seemed to care about it. You need to reassure yourself that it will be fine even if you mess up. Assuming that everyone is focusing on you won't help. You can't know what other people are thinking about. Their opinion doesn't matter. Shift your focus on others. A person suffering from social phobia focuses on his body, like shaky legs, sweaty palms, etc. Thus, it aggregates the situation and they feel miserable. We suggest you shift your focus on another thing when you are trapped in a similar situation. Shift focus away from your symptoms to the other person's face and pay attention to what he is saying. We assure you that this will save your day. Don't forget to comment down below if this trick helped you. Exercises and relaxation techniques. All the negative overwhelming emotions and physical symptoms will be relieved if you start to exercise at least three times a week. Deep breathing exercises thrice a day will keep you calm. Progressive muscle relaxation exercises will be equally helpful for social anxiety disorder. That will diminish your anxiety so you will be able to socialize better. Moreover, don't forget to limit your caffeine and alcohol. A drink or two might occasionally ease you, but as you get addicted, then you will be entirely dependent on alcohol to socialize and get anxious without it. Another thing that will surprise you is an omega-3 fatty acid in your diet will boost your mental health. Lastly, add walnut, flaxseed, and fatty fish to your diet. Small Steps That Matter Social anxiety constitutes fear of being rejected and criticized by others. All you have to do is initiate a little act of affection and kindness. Start with a small act of kindness, like helping an old man with his groceries. As you help others, 
They will compliment you for your compassion and kindness. That will boost your confidence to overcome anxiety. Slowly, it will create a positive image in your mind and the fear of disapproval will vanish. It'll become easier for you to interact with strangers also. Role Play Another technique that you must utilize is to role play with your trusted people. Start today by practicing certain things that you might come across in your daily routine. This rehearsing will help you gain more confidence. You will be prepared when you come across these situations in daily life. Ask your partner to devise certain scenarios. For example, what will be your reaction if you fall in front of a crowd? Practice how you will react and interact with strangers. Another additional tip is to ask your partner to give you some positive and negative responses. Face your fears. When a person suffers from social anxiety disorder, they avoid social interactions. So this escape from your fears will aggravate anxiety. Begin with small steps in the initial phase. For example, accompany your mate to a party. Gradually, advance to the task of socializing strangers alone. Set your goals. Break down your task into goals and enlist the time you will need to achieve them. Your initial goal will be just waving at your coworker. Don't forget to celebrate when you achieve your goals. Social anxiety can also be tackled by joining social skills classes. You can sign up for a short course in adult education centers where you can learn to communicate with others. Ask for help. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, is an effective treatment for social anxiety disorder. It's composed of various methods of behaving, thinking, and reacting in certain situations. It assists in practicing social skills so that you can interact better in your community. Alternatively, you can call a mental health helpline and ask them for help. If you have severe symptoms, you must consult your doctor. The doctor might prescribe you some medicines like beta blockers or antidepressants. But remember that cognitive therapy and treating the root cause by self-help techniques will relieve your anxiety. Join an online group where people will understand your situation. It will comfort and motivate you to socialize. You can learn from their experiences on how they cope with your situation. Lastly, you need to know that you are not alone in this. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. The best thing about you is that you are still trying. Next time, you will come back and tell us how you nailed your day by socializing with strangers, although it takes time to transform from being anxious to a social butterfly. But all you need to do is stick to your journey, and it will be worth it. Don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Please comment down below to tell us the topics you want us to cover in upcoming videos. We will see you soon with another video.